Hello, my name is Dustin Shao, and welcome to Gatsby Camp. I'm the VP of Engineering, and today I'm here to represent the amazing team at Gatsby, who's been working on some pretty revolutionary updates to the Gatsby product. But first, I want to take a step back. And to best set up where we're at and where we're going, I want to take a look at where we've been and how Gatsby continues to evolve alongside the needs of you in our ruthless pursuit of delivering the best possible end user experience. So, since we last spoke, in just 90-ish days, you know, plus or minus a few days, at Gatsby Camp Summer 2021 on June 8th, we've not been content. We will never be content, nor have we been sitting on our laurels. Here are some of the updates that I'm most proud of, specifically because they show just how much we can, are, and will remain delivering to teams using Gatsby. So first, there's Preview UI. We took a step back and really thought deeply about the user experience of CMS Preview. Basically, what would the ubiquitous live preview look like if it was designed fresh in 2021? Well, while we're not done yet, one of the first things we recognize is that when you go headless with Gatsby and your CMS of choice, whether it's Drupal, WordPress, Contentful, or so on, your content editors are somewhat stranded. They honestly don't know when their changes will go live. They don't know if there was an error. So we're not content with this, with this state, we're not done. So we just launched our first update, which is Preview UI. What this really enables is it brings contextual awareness for content editors of what's happening, when, it, when it's happening, and what's going to happen next. So I'd like to show a brief little demo of what this looks like. So on the left-hand side, we have Contentful. So as normal, uh, Contentful is the headless CMS. I'm going to make my changes. I'm proxying the content editor here, and then I'm going to click Open Preview. What you'll see is this new and improved experience in Preview UI. It'll say building a new preview. So your content editors aren't left stranded wondering, did that change take effect? Did that change have the impact I was hoping it would have? And ultimately what this enables is for a content editor to be informed, stay informed, and to be maximally effective even in this new headless frontier. So this is a great update that the team made that we're really excited for um, more feedback on and we're truly thrilled that teams of content editors marketers and developers can work together in this new headless frontier. So next, headless commerce. You know, one of the things that I love most about Gatsby is its fairly opinionated stance that content is data and content can be sourced from anywhere with an API. So towards those ends, we've made a number of speed improvements, we've added new features, and we've even built out our own starter to help you confidently choose Gatsby for your next and current e-commerce site built with Shopify. We've truly loved partnering closely with Shopify to improve together and we are loving seeing all the performant, engaging experiences that you are building with Shopify and Gatsby collectively. It's really a dream team, you know, and an awesome partner that, you know, we're thrilled to have this headless commerce story so that you can choose Gatsby for more and more use cases. So next, with Gatsby Cloud, we have single sign-on and SAML. So it, it honestly flew under the radar a bit, but if you're a team that needs single sign-on, you know it. So ultimately, with Gatsby Cloud, we're continually serving teams, and we know that sometimes requirements around authentication and using your own SSO solution is necessary. So we worked closely with another great partner in WorkOS to build this out, and it's available in early access. Let our awesome sales and product teams know if you'd like access for your team. They'll be available and around during Gatsby Camp as well. So we have a new tutorial. One of the things that we love most is improving something that's already great. And so we've heard from many of you that you love the tutorial and our overall documentation experience. But we aren't content with that state either. You know, like ultimately, uh, we want to turn good into great, great into amazing. And so we recently revamped uh, our tutorial. Specifically, we now iteratively build out the same site, a blog, of course. I got my start building a blog with Gatsby. And it's now leveraging the latest and greatest APIs available in Gatsby 3 and onwards so that you can be assured that you're still on the cutting edge and the happy path in your Gatsby journey. Pretty slick. So this was made by um, an engineer on the team, uh, Megan Sullivan, who you'll hear from in a little bit, uh, as well as some great work from Flow our amazing uh, designer. For those of you who are choosing Gatsby, you oftentimes choose, of course, Gatsby, the open source framework. And we're not content there either. So Gatsby 3.13, 3.12, 3.11, 3.10, you get the idea. Lots of releases to the amazing open source framework that you know and love. We release a new version of Gatsby open source every two weeks, and they're chock full of goodness in each and every release. High level, keep your version of Gatsby up to date, and you'll be pleasantly surprised at the iterative improvements we make to speed, to your developer experience, and to the overall quality of using the Gatsby framework. As always, the latest and greatest is just an NPM install away. And so don't just take my word for it. I'd like to also show some stats. So from older versions of Gatsby to the latest and greatest, some kind of high level stats that you can experience are 50 to 70% faster build speeds, 30 to 40% faster JavaScript bundling, and 20% faster query running. And so again, 
the kind of numbers speak for themselves. And I'd like to show some like real world sites. So we have gatsbyjs.com, New Relic, a great customer of ours, and ADAC Motorsports. And so just by updating your version of Gatsby uh, and kind of incremental point releases, you can see that there are some real world improvements to your overall experience of using Gatsby as measured by the build speed. And so these are 9,000, 10,000, 30,000 page sites that are receiving up to 50% improvements uh, just by updating your version of Gatsby. It's so easy, you, might, you may as well just, just keep it up to date. And as always, like I've mentioned, I'm nothing if not redundant. Uh, how you do this is an NPM install away. So NPM I Gatsby at latest, and you're on the new hotness, you're on the latest and greatest, and you can get these improvements amongst others just by updating and keeping your version up to date. I want to also just show some usage, show some real world customer stories or some real world customers that ultimately are using Gatsby and are having a great experience in doing so. Ultimately, the usage and the real world results say far more than I can say myself. More companies are using Gatsby each and every day, whether it's for their documentation or blog, your company landing pages, uh, e-commerce sites of increasing sophistication and scale, or something else entirely. We're so thankful and excited to have all of these great companies using Gatsby, succeeding with Gatsby, and thriving with Gatsby. You know, I'm just a little biased, of course, but you should join them if you haven't already. So great logos like New Relic, like Tyson Foods, uh, of course, you, know, you can see the rest yourself, but uh, ultimately we love all of our customers, we love all of our users, and ultimately you can kind of join this rising trend, this rising movement, this rising adoption of Gatsby and join them in your journey of Gatsby. <laughs> uh, I saw a release last week, even ABBA, you know, kind of a throwback is shouting, gimme, gimme, gimme Gatsby. So ABBA, uh, ABBA's new website is of course powered with Gatsby. And we're super glad they're, they're, on the, they're on the train. And of course, these numbers also speak for themselves. So I can say it, but I'd rather show it. In the last 30 days, we've seen an influx of usage to our cloud platform. You and your users throughout the globe are generating some serious scale for our burgeoning cloud platform. 30 terabytes of data transferred through our CDN, 1 million successful builds, and 1 billion, yes, with a B, billion, requests to, to your websites hosted with Gatsby Cloud. Thank you for choosing us, and we're excited to continue growing and scaling to you and your users' needs. Ultimately, it's a bit like McDonald's. 1 billion in the last month, we want billions and billions and billions with a B. Ultimately, Gatsby Cloud was designed in a purpose-built manner for teams to come to build, deploy, and collaborate with Gatsby sites for the best experience. Now and in the future, we recommend that you use Gatsby Cloud, and we're continuing to make it objectively, demonstrably, and definitively the best place to go for Gatsby sites. Don't just take my word for it, of course. In just the last few months, in these last 90 days, we've made some, uh, let's just say impactful changes to our cloud product, particularly localized to the builds and deploys experience. Collectively, you experience this as a publish, which is what your users experience. And it means that when you make a change to your website, we're measuring the time from that change to that change being live to your users around the globe with our best in class CDN. We benchmarked the same 10,000 page site on a number of cloud providers, and the numbers are pretty stark. So I'll pause for effect and hold up. That is right, actually. That is 10x faster deploys and publishes on Gatsby Cloud using the same site. So again, you know, don't just take our word for it. Try it out. Put it to the test with your Gatsby site, and ultimately, let us know what you think. You may have heard me waxing poetic about the bygone eras of the web. When we really think about it, the web isn't that old, but we really have come so far. The web of old was static, and it was static by default. Fault-tolerant HTML, simple styling, and snappy pages that, that users loved. Ultimately, Gatsby is a love letter to this past simplicity. But then came the rise of the CMS. The CMS enabled creators of all sorts, regardless of skill levels, to publish, create, and share. WordPress, Drupal, Sitecore, all of these kind of CMSs ate the entire web and enabled anyone to create content. But then user expectations changed. The rise of the modern web app, the progressive web app, and the advent of front-end libraries like React really enabled developers to create richer, more engaging experiences, and user expectations evolved alongside those experiences. So what was an amazing, engaging application 10 years ago is old news. You know, you got to keep up with the latest and greatest. So sites like Gmail, sites like Figma, sites like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Dropbox, the latter three all using React, these are the kinds of experiences that your users are expecting as their norm in their day-to-day -day so that they can discover your great content. And so when I think of Gatsby, I think of Gatsby as standing on the shoulders of giants. Gatsby is really a love letter to this past kind of era of the web where, you know, ultimately we can build the kind of rich experience that we want, but without losing sight 
that users don't want to pay a cost to uh, using this great content. So Gatsby is, quote unquote, blazing fast uh, because it's, it kind of uh, takes some of these past bygone eras, the, the, the simplicity of the static site, the power of the CMS content management systems. They're great for content. So that content editors can keep using and enjoying the experience. And then they, uh, with Gatsby, we give power uh, back to the developer so that the developer can create this engaging experience while not losing sight of the overall user experience we have to deliver. In effect, again, Gatsby is our love letter to the best parts of the web reimagined, not in competition with these previous ways to build, but inspired by them. You know, you can still use these great tools. You can use a CMS, you can use React, and ultimately you can build a site that your users love that helps you convert and capitalize uh, on, this, uh, on these eyeballs. And ultimately, it's not just the developer who makes a technology choice. Building a website isn't just which tools you want to use, it's a workflow choice. And all stakeholders want to feel heard, respected, and empowered to do their best work. They also want to have a little fun while they do it. And so this bygone era, and effectively every website ever, has one commonality. It's built by teams, developers, marketers, and designers. Developers, developers, developers. Developers want to use the latest and greatest and the tools that enable them to be effective. Marketers, 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 oftentimes they're at odds with the developer. They want to keep using the tools that they're familiar with. And so Gatsby is how we bring these two personas together to stitch together a performant website that users still you know, actually enjoy using. What a novelty. And again, this workflow in Gatsby Cloud is what we're doing to kind of stitch these together and keep improving the lives and the tool choice and the workflow choice for these users and these key stakeholders involved at play. So, you know, you may be asking, but, but where are we really at in helping bring developers and marketers together, which is our mission? Well, we're not done. You know, these are hard problems of scale, of complexity, of delivering a cloud-native product that can meet and exceed user expectations of tools with a 10-plus year head start. You know, the CMS has been around for a while. And so you'll hear more about cloud-native from Abi, an excellent uh, principal engineer uh, on the Gatsby team. So today, we're excited to announce some step changes that we are confident will enable you and your teams to confidently choose Gatsby for your next site and your next site and the site after that too, regardless of scale, regardless of build speeds, regardless of the type of site that you're building. Today, we're shifting left to evolve with the needs of teams building sites. We're shifting into more dynamic territory. And ultimately, we're enabling you to confidently choose Gatsby regardless of the scale, complexity, and type of site that you're building. So let's dive in and let's announce what I lovingly refer to as the new hotness. So we're launching a few things today. I'll dive into each of them and then stick around for an even deeper dive by my wonderful coworkers, our customers, and more. I'll broach these high level, you know, kind of like scratch the surface. Then stay tuned for demos, deeper dives, and more throughout today. So these launches use some initialisms. Uh, but collectively, we're thrilled to share what they enable for you and your users. And I hope you take away an understanding of what these are and what these enable you and your teams to do. First, parallel query running. So whether or not you even realize this, Gatsby has long been single-threaded. What that means is that even on your fancy MacBook or in our best-in-class cloud platform, regardless of how many cores the machine has available, Gatsby won't leverage them all to perform heavy tasks in parallel. No longer. Today, we're launching parallel query running, which is the first step towards a fully decoupled future. What this means for you is that your builds are faster, more frequently. We offload the heavy task, query running being the first one, for up to a 30% reduction in build speeds with early test customers. Mental model I like to think of is uh, a slow portion of builds will now be done in parallel on more powerful machines. And you know, we're not done with build speeds just quite yet. Next is DSG, or Deferred Static Generation. It's one of the more powerful techniques we've been able to deliver in driving down build speeds. Further still, we're immensely proud that it does so in what we think is the quote unquote Gatsby way of driving down build speeds where you still generate what you need at build time and your user doesn't suffer. So let me walk you through it at a high level and then stick around for Abby's talk where he goes pretty into the weeds. So deferred data generation is a technique that generates only the critical portions of your Gatsby site at build time and the rest are generated, cached, and made available to your end users when they request it, not at build time. So again, what does this mean for you? Well, it means faster builds more frequently. It means triggering builds on users accessing your live pages versus generating everything up front. You'll hear 10x thrown around frequently, but dependent upon your and your team's needs, DSG can, can dive down build time quite demonstrably, including 
uh, up to 10x. For larger sites with content that can be generated in the background, think like older blog posts or certain content types that aren't accessed all of that frequently. You don't need to pay the tax of the GM stack, and you can still leverage the benefits of the static web and ahead of time generation where you're not kind of waiting for those builds to complete. What you're doing is you're focusing on building out your engaging experience, and your users are the ones that are then requesting the builds. We're caching them, we're building them, and we're building them in the background so that you spend less time building uh, and more time doing and creating. Finally, the big one, the one that I think you may have been waiting for. SSR, or server-side rendering, is a technique that is now supported in Gatsby. The big difference between SSR and SSG is that SSR is done on a per-user and per-request basis. If you want to serve customized content with an authenticated user, or fetch details for an A-B test based on the server-side conditions, or scale to truly real-time data requirements, SSR is your Swiss Army knife that will enable you to confidently build your vision for your web and your user. Collectively, these techniques are new rendering modes for Gatsby. Used collectively, these tools, APIs, and foundational techniques will drive down build times by as much as 10x. And so you may be thinking like, all these acronyms, these three, these four things, you know, how do I use these all together? Well, this isn't four things or three things. This is one thing, and this is available today with the beta of Gatsby 4. So we're thrilled to announce today the immediate release of the beta of Gatsby 4, where you can use SSR, SSG, DSG, and parallel query running so that you can confidently build your vision for the web. As indicated earlier, Gatsby is shifting left into more dynamic use cases to enable your team to choose the tool that grows where they need it to grow, that scales to the web they want to create, that is the best of static and now the best of dynamic. Ultimately, it's static that scales. And again, it's available just an NPM install away with NPM install Gatsby at next. At the heart of Gatsby is source plugins. Source plugins that make it easier to pull in data from many different services. We work closely with dozens of partners to build great integrations. We can't thank them enough for contributing to helping make Gatsby and Gatsby 4 a success. And we'll be working diligently with the rest to ensure that when Gatsby 4 is fully launch ready, that your CMS of choice will be tested, performant, and ready for game time. Ultimately, what I really want to say here is thank you. Thank you to all who helped contribute towards making Gatsby 4 a success. To the, the teams of engineers and product managers and designers and marketing and every team at Gatsby, ultimately it's our great work in the last 90 days. It was a Herculean effort by the team and what keeps us going is your great feedback, your usage, and letting us know what you, what you think. Tweet at us, find us on Discord, let us know how you're using Gatsby 4 and the sites that you're building. Thank you additionally to the many thousands of open source contributors, whether it's CMS integrations, the open source Gatsby code base, our vast plugin ecosystem, or something else. We see you and we appreciate you. Thank you for what you do. But wait, there's more. And finally, stay tuned to the rest of the great talks and the far, far better speakers than me, the real professionals doing the real work. Whether it's engineers at Gatsby, like Ward, Abby, and Megan, who will build some of what you're seeing today, Patrick, Leonard, and Grayson as well. Uh, or more who will do a deep dive on some performance optimizations, who will kind of share what they're building with Gatsby 4, and who will do a deep dive on all of the latest and greatest available today in Gatsby 4. I'm so proud of this Gatsby 4 launch, the team that helped us build it, and you, the users and customers who helped us get here. Truly, thank you all. I can't thank you enough. Today, you have the opportunity to build a better web, a static first web that scales. Today, tomorrow, and always, these are the building blocks that will continue to refine improve and enable you to assemble for your vision, vision of a better web for all. This is just what we've done in the last 90 days. What do you think we're gonna do in the next 90? Ultimately, we can't wait to see what you'll build with Gatsby 4. Let us know what you think and thank you.